let's level up. Uh, let's get to plus 10 intelligence so that people, spellcasters, will talk to us in the first place. Okay. So endurance is how much stamina you have and also your equipment load. Strength is, like, certain weapons either have a strength and or a dexterity um, modifier. Like, it, it, it'll say, like, it requires 15 strength to even use this weapon. If you cut that in half, that means you can two-hand it. This stuff is not told to you in the game. You just have to kind of figure it out. Um, so maybe we'll find something later that'll be a good example of that. But, like, you could two-hand the weapon, and, it, and like, the, the strength requirement is halved. And then, obviously, you can't use a shield. You also do more damage if you're holding with two hands. Now that we've leveled up our weapon, we can almost one-shot some of these guys. Yeah, okay, so we see we could do like way more damage. Okay, let's go kill this guy. Revenge! Alright, you're fucked this time, dude. See, we do so much more damage now that we've leveled up our weapon. Hugely important. Those Titanite shards are rare and expensive, so... Uh, didn't time that well. We're not really using our shield. I could just two-hand it. And as long as we avoid him... So you can see how much faster he goes down when you're two-handing. Makes a big difference. There's a shard. See, the game, it's its very well designed. Like, it, it it's very subtly helping you. Saying, like, oh, well, here's a guy you kind of have to fight. And he gives you an item used to upgrade your weapon, which is, like, right in the next area where you're supposed to go. Which is the blacksmith. These Firekeeper souls are important. <laughs> Praise the sun. These Firekeeper keeper souls are important because uh, you can eat them for souls, which would be a huge mistake, but instead you give them to a Firekeeper keeper and it reinforces your Estus flask, which means that it heals more every time you use it. See you later, Butane. So again, I sound like I'm knowledgeable. But that's only because I have a very surface level understanding of this game. The later later into the game we get, I haven't even I've never even rung both bells of awakening. I've never been past Sense Fortress or been to Anorlando or any of that. I have no idea the whole PvP meta or structure. That's all gonna be complete completely new to me, so um That's gonna be interesting. We've also opened a permanent shortcut here. So now this elevator is open. And we can go back and forth between the Undead Parish and Firelink Shrine anytime we want. I think there was some items over here that I never got either, so let's go and do that. Should I go for the skeletons? I'll probably wait a little bit longer. I might want to upgrade my shield a little bit too. Is knight's shield even worth upgrading? Honestly? I mean, the the sword I'll go to plus five because the titanite shards are no problem. Is it is it worth upgrading your armor? Like how much is it really use used? I don't know. Hey buddy. So what I might do... Meh, let's wait. T 
took me a week of grinding to kill them with an unupgraded spear. Yeah, my first playthrough, I was using a halberd. So I didn't really get used to shield play. And now that I'm using a shield, I like it so much more than just, just depending on rolling. Both are important, I think. But I was trying to use an unupgraded halberd, or like a halberd plus one, to kill the big lightning golem behind the blacksmith. And I tried like 40 times, and I was like, alright, fuck this. <laughs> I said, I, and I just ran by him and went into the, the dark root garden instead and figure I'll do it again. See, this guy doesn't come back. The other enemies have respawned, but that doesn't matter. Um, should we do the gargoyles? In order to do the gargoyles, we may want to be human. We just have Solaire come and help us, because I'm a baby. Three humanity is not bad. Shit, bum. Ow! Did we kill him? Those firebombs are good early in the game, I think, against enemies like this. God damn it. Oh my god. It's like this guy, I don't think, comes back. He, like, shoots little magic bolts at you. Oh yeah, who was that guy at Firelink? Yeah, so that was just another player. Occasionally you just see ghosts of other people. guys exist to help teach you how to repost, but like it's so much easier to just bah, block them. Also, they were super easy when I had the halberd. I'm, it might be worthwhile to use Titanite shards to upgrade a two-handed weapon as well, so we can get some quick, quick murder in action. Thanks. I'm a bit uh, hesitant to use humanity to do anything other than heal, and then we just happen to have it from that point on for treasure find, but... Oh, then I am in luck. Could you help me? As you can see, I am stuck without recourse. I don't even remember where we picked that up. Trek of Kali. I truly appreciate this, and I guarantee a reward only later. Yes, very sorry. Your reward will have to wait. I have just been freed. Allow me some time. So, there's a bunch of people to rescue, and they all end up going back to Firelink. <laughs> See, they all have creepy laughs, too. They all have creepy laughs. They usually all go back to Firelink Shrine. Um, I suppose I can try to fight the gargoyles myself. It's not going to go well, but I'll try, and then uh, we'll summon in Solaire. <laughs> my question is, who dies in a barrel? <laughs> yeah, this is my first time playing, um... Or I'm going to try to finish it at least, not today, but like over time, I'll just keep streaming Dark Souls. Um, I've only, I haven't even, I have a separate save file that I have personally, and I'm, um, I've only, I haven't even rung the Bells of Awakening yet, so it's not like I have much knowledge of this game at all. Shouldn't be used Lightning Resin, or whatever it's called.
So this thing isn't that bad. Um, it's the... S you'll see. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Ah, got the tail. Most enemies, if they have a tail, it can probably be cut off. Fuck. I missed my chance. So this is why it's hard, because there's two of them now. One of them by itself, no problem. When there are two, much harder. All right, patience. Patience, baby. <gasps> How did that miss? How did it miss? No! I am actually mad. Again, there were twice I was in there. I swear I swung at them. Oh, oh man. We almost had him. So close, like a split second. I can't believe we missed that one shot. Uh, okay, so we are going to... We are going to, just for funsies, now that I show that maybe with enough times I could definitely do it, but instead now, I think we're going to go ahead and we're going to call in our buddy. So the only way you can summon people or other NPCs to help you with bosses is to be human. So you do that at a bonfire, so now we're a person. We're alive. I don't really know what the benefits of being alive are, other than being able to summon in other uh, other people. Oh, I'm so mad. We almost, we almost killed the first one really quick. We were out of stamina, but like, if we could have killed the first one before the second one even got close to us, we were in really, really good, in really, really good, uh, straits. And then there was one, I was in there, I, I think I executed the attack, and I was right on top of it. I don't know why it didn't hit. That would have killed it. And then dealing with the other one by itself, no problem. Oh, I didn't upgrade my Estus. Thank you. I'll, uh... I don't want to risk... Uh, being human for too long, because I don't want to get invaded... Uh, before we can get up here and just kill these gargoyles. So let's go and do this first. Weird. Okay. Also, we got the 10 SDs for going back to Firelink. You motherfuckers. <laughs> this is why having a piercing, or like, a, not a piercing, but, uh, what's it called? The type of attack where you're basically stabbing? Probably stabbing is the word I'm looking for. Being human offers higher resistances, especially to curse. Got it. Well, even if we did get invaded now, we'd probably be able to make it through the fog door before they got to us. Or we could just try to fight them. I'm not afraid of being invaded, but I don't like wasting humanity if I'm using it specifically to get a summon. Here he is. Is he here? Praise the sun! Let's grab our souls real quick. So we already got the, uh... Whoop! 
we already got the tail. Okay, one down. Now it's easy peasy, and Solaire is still here, so. Whoops. No! It's because I have him selected. I'm trying to I'm trying to run around him and I end up strafing, which is a mistake. Yeah, they're really easy to hit when they're shooting fire, because then they just you just run around behind it. But when there's two of them. Praise the sun! Nice. And we got all our souls back. So I assume the bells ring, you can hear it when anybody rings them, like when anyone kills the gargoyles, and probably also whenever someone finishes Blight Town, which I've never I've never been to Blight Town yet, so that'll be fun. Oh, increase boss health when you're when there's summon or when you have a summon, and that's interesting. Yeah, it felt like that first one died really quick when I was two handing when I was by myself. I didn't know that even NPCs will increase their health. There we go. We're killing it. Doing actually really well. And we're still human, so I'd like to use this opportunity to go and kindle bonfires before we die, hopefully. Greetings. I am Oswald of Kareem, the pop. Allow out a friend. For me. Oh, welcome. Come as now to confess what you choose. For indeed, your sin is my domain. Yeah, Redler, no, I really appreciate it. You've given a lot of uh, useful tips. Oh, this guy sells really cheap purging stones. I mean, they're not really cheap, but they're cheaper than some of the other ones. This would be nice, but I don't think we need it right now. So that a lot of the stuff that guy sells relates to. Uh, see, he's got a creepy laugh. Uh, relates to. Um, no, no, no. That's not what. Uh, relates to PVP. So ridiculous. One thing I kind of need some chat input on is armor. Like, I haven't changed my armor. Is it worth upgrading what I have? Is it worth trying to get a set that keeps me below the 75% so I can fast roll? Or is it worth just... I, I don't know. Especially with my playstyle so far, I'm not really clear on what I should be focusing on in terms of armor. Because I see ghosts of people with all sorts of different armor. Whereas I am just sort of... I'm just in the normal... just in the normal set. There's the bell. All right, let's go kindle this bonfire, since we're human now. Thank you, iframes. Shh, he doesn't know. He's not, he's not sure! Oh, we didn't even get the backstab. He turned at the last moment. Oswald looking posh. <laughs> Fast roll is really good until you have a lot of endurance, though you don't have a lot of options. That's the thing. Early game, it just seems like, especially as the soul levels get exponentially higher, 
it seems more worth it, I think, to focus on medium roll shields, because I can't do both. Now, let's just kindle this. So you give one humanity, kindle the flame. So now anytime we rest at this bonfire permanently, uh, we get uh, 10 Estus instead of just 5. Does anybody level up resistance? Is that worth doing? Or do you just complain when you get cursed? <laughs> because you didn't put any points into it. Cool. Uh, let's also use this opportunity to buy smith boxes. Hollow Soldier Set has decent defense to weight ratio. Okay. I don't think I have... I have the Gargoyle Helm. I mean, it's the same... It's the same weight as what we're wearing, and it just seems all around better, so we're, we're gonna wear the Gargoyle Helm. This is the same weight and seems better against physical attacks, but worse against most magic. Yeah, I see. We'll consider it. So now we can reinforce our weapons at the bonfire. Let's spend our souls. Maybe we can go and kill the big lightning thing now. Let's go try it. Resistance is useless. Level any stats and your elemental resistance goes up regardless. Oh, okay. We're right at a bonfire, so there's really not much to lose here. Oh, yeah. That jumping attack is always what killed me when I was having trouble with this fight. Because he, like, he, like, telegraphs onto you in midair. It's actually infuriating. to get behind you, please, and this stupid half-pillar is in the way! Oh my god. I hate, I hate this. These tiny half-pillars are honestly infuriating. I still have to reinforce my Estus. No! That's what I was waiting for. Shit. I thought I was dual wielding, but I had actually switched it. All right, vengeance. This helm does not match with the rest of my armor. It kind of bothers me. <laughs> Alright, let's make sure to get our souls. Really? 
Oh, come on. Let's force him to try to zap me. Ah! I should just take the hit on my shield. It would be so much better. I really hate these stupid little doodads all over the floor. You can't avoid them. And you can't walk over them. Almost. The tail is dangerous. Yeah, okay. Demon Titanite. I don't know what that's used for. I don't know. I don't know much about this game. Oh, we were human. We wasted our humanity on the stupid stone guy. I could have kindled the, uh, the undead berg bonfire. Whoops. Well, hello again. You seem to be doing all right. Need anything forged? Special Ember, so not the Demon Titanite. I'll be seeing you next. Oh, finding him on the stairs. Yeah, you could have stayed below him. Yeah, I just fucked up a little bit on that first go around. You could probably say that about... <laughs> many. Anytime you, get, you die, you just say, oh, I fucked that up. Yeah, on PC remastered is kind of a necessity. I, there was a there was a fix patch though, wasn't there? That that allowed for for a cap, like any cap you want. Okay, we need to backtrack now to get to Lower Undead Berg. All right, let's not fuck this up. Yeah, dog. See, we can one hit a lot of these. One, because we've leveled up, and two, because we've leveled our weapon up. I think the weapon level ups are way more important. And maybe I'll upgrade, like, my spear or something, or my halberd or something. I don't know. I'd like, to have a two... Yeah, sure, why not? We can instant kill him. Get the souls. Walking up slopes and jumping gets really messed up with DS Fix. Yeah, I mean, if you already owned the game, you got... I think you got, like, 50% off remastered, so it just depends on your financial situation. Like, if $10 seems like a lot to you, then don't get it, but... If it's like, oh, I'd spend that on lunch, then, you know, go for it. Anybody else? I think we have to go back through the sewer, actually. Is there any better way to get over there? Maybe from Firelink Shrine. I don't really know. Whatever. We get some extra souls. Quietly. God damn it, I can't sneak up on these these hollow warriors. Terrible at it. Yeah, also the multiplayer. Ah oh, no! Don't poison me. Please. No! No! Death by inches right now. That's alright, we'll be able to get back to a bonfire, maybe.
Okay, we got five SDs. Gotta get back to the bonfire before... Mm. Before we die. We can do it. We can open up the shortcut before it's too late. Well, I'm only concerned about this poison because I have to make sure I can get to a bonfire before I die. Actually, no. Yeah, because then I'd have to go all the way back and risk losing everything. Yeah, and I haven't gone to Dark Root yet to get any purple moss. Alright, we can go open up the shortcut and get rid of this poison. So now we're in Lower Undeadburg. So this is an optional area. You could do this. You could come here way earlier. Like, rather than fighting the Gargoyles first, you can go to lo Lower Undeadburg first. And level up. Okay, cool. We made it. It's tempting to go human just to kindle this real quick. Jay is messing up the bonfires under the bridge. This is definitely the closest bonfire. to un lower Undeadburg, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's just spend our humanity and get this. There we go. Well, now we're human again, so we could get invaded, but that's fine. We're probably gonna die to Capra a bunch of times, so... You know, whatever. 